What's up, team? So today I want to talk to you guys about oh, a few lies told by lying lovers. So if you missed part one, go back and watch part one. you guys uh, you are in a wrong relationship or you're in a relationship you're not so sure about I want to give you five lies a lying lover tells so like I said before you know go back watch the replay of part one this is going to bless you and do me a favor tag somebody share this video with someone that's you know that their person that they're courting or dating is a liar but they don't want to listen to you so share this video it's going to bless them and set them free all right, so I'm going to give you five lies that, that these lying lovers tell. Number one, they say, I love you. A lying lover will tell you, I love you. They'll, they'll try to manipulate uh, you to get what they want. See, women, we love sweet words. You know, we love gifts. We love... Um, we love, you know, uh, baby, I love you. You're the only one. You're special. You're fine. Ooh, girl, you look good in those shoes. And I like, you know, just things like that. Watch out for those words. Love is an action word. Amen. So a lying lover will use the words, I love you, to manipulate you, to control you. And once they get the cookies out the cookie jar and get what they want to get, they'll kick you to the curb. Don't get caught up in words, women. Don't get caught up, men, in, you know, the seductress trying to show extra legs and trying to show extra skin. You know, tell my baby, I love you. She don't love you. He don't love you. Amen. See? Beware the enemy. And I pray that God will open up your eyes and be able to allow you to see. So you won't get caught up in words. Number two, a lion lover would tell you that their lady friend that's always hanging around or certain contacts in their phone, it's just a friend. Same thing with, uh, you know, uh, for a woman, she would tell you that that male, she don't, she don't like that male. Maybe that's someone she's creeping with behind your back, you know? But you, you feel something inside like, nah, something ain't right. I can't put my finger on it. Trust your instinct. Amen. Pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention. Because we have the Holy Spirit within us. I'm talking to say people. Pay attention to that. Because he's warning you. He's preparing you right now. Because you're going to find out that that person has been lying all along. That that ain't his friend. That's the person that they're going that that you know he or she is messing with, you know, because you they're not getting what they want from you, which may be sexual gratification. So they're getting it from them. So that's their friends with a benefit, but they're not benefiting from you. So they're getting it from someone else. So uh, a lion lover said that's just a friend. You know, they're just nothing there. That's just a friend. Amen. But remember, God will never put you in a relationship with someone that's going to walk all over your heart because he wants the best for you, right? Number three, the third lie a lying lover would, a lover would tell you, the third lie a lying lover would tell you is, I'm sorry. They love those words. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. It will never happen again. Give me another chance. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Of course, they're going to say, I'm sorry, because they know that's going to work with you because, you know, you're going to give them another chance because you did it before. How many times do they have to hurt you for you to realize that they're not going to change? 
that they're going to keep on doing it. Come on now. Are, are you tired of going around the same mountain? They're not sorry. They'll tell you, I, I'm going to change. It will never happen again. And you keep, keep letting them in, in and they'll keep cheating on you. And they'll slept with all your friends. They done stole money from you. They done used you and abused you. But you keep letting them back in. Come on now. You got to decide that you want to stop that cycle. And that cycle has to end. You got to decide. Don't, don't get caught up in empty num nothings. All these empty promises. And they don't mean anything. You know, refuse to say, uh-uh. You know, refuse to, to stop dealing with it. Amen. Cut all ties. Say bye, deuces. Ooh, it hurts, but you ain't you you have caused me enough pain. You've been a thorn in my flesh for too long. Amen. Just walk away. The fourth lie a lion lover will tell you is I love God. I love God. I said on the first video, I had this guy that came in my life and he pretended for three months he loved God. And then the real truth came out. He couldn't hold it anymore. He said he wanted to have sex with me and, you know, he kept pushing, trying to trying to push his way and try to send me porn and I ended up blocking him. So he pretended, and that's just the ultimate low, to pretend you love God. You know, he, he went to church, he prayed and all, all kind of crazy stuff, just try to suck me in. You know... They will pretend they love God or even have a relationship with God just to get close to you. You know, they'll go to church with you. They'll plot, study you, watch you. They'll try to open up ungodly conversations. They'll try to touch on you, to get you in, to pull you in. You know, they'll try to suck on you, like suck, you know, like they'll try to suck you in. You know praying on your vulnerability the next thing the next lie a lion lover will tell you is i need to work late i need to work late or i gotta go to work you know that something ain't right you know that but hmm you're always working i never see you i never spend time with you aren't we together let me tell you something that person don't care about you. You know, while you at home doing the right thing and trying to live right, that person out there doing God knows what with someone else because you ain't doing it. But they don't want to hurt you because they're so caught up in sin. So, you know, they, they up there trying to find your replacement. But thank God for the Holy Spirit because he will let you know they're lying. He will expose them. So if you notice a change, if maybe this is you in a, a relationship that you know is going south and you got to cut it off, God is dealing with you to cut it off, you know, God is giving you a heads up. So let me, let me just recap. So a lion lover, the five lies a lion lover will tell you is, I love you, number one. Number two, they will lie and say, that person is just a friend. Number three, they will tell you, I'm sorry. Number four, they will tell you they love God. And number five, they will tell you that they, they're working when they're not working. So maybe you're hurt, you know, because you've been lied to. You have been abused and you just can't trust that person. I pray for healing in your emotions. I pray for the strength that you need just to let it go and to allow God to heal you so you'll be able to love and receive the love that God has for you for, for, for the right person that he, he has ordained for you. I pray that you don't get caught up in foolishness. You don't get caught up in lies. I pray for peace upon you in Jesus' name. So guys, if you missed part one, go back and watch part one. I love you, and I'll see you guys for the next broadcast. Deuces.